Hay que saber. <laughs> Add the mic's mute. Welcome back to Girl Chat Sports. Oh, they're both muted. No wonder I didn't yeah. hear you. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I said, I guess I'm going to have to unmute my mic too. Unmute my mic. <laughs> hey, listen. Oh, this is, this is hey, how it is today Wednesday, so far. Guys. It Happy goes. hump day. <laughs> Happy hump day. Sounds like somebody's Listen, getting it, through the hump right now. What is going on with you right now? What's I, up? Like I'm you trying to get through day. the hump. Um, I got a vacation coming up and you know me, I'm the last minute packer. So I just got to get my stuff together and get it, get it all done with. Um, just so you guys know out there, we will be taking a little hiatus as of next week. We're going to take next week off because I'm going to be gone and you get a little break. Early uh, early birthday break, an early month birthday yeah. break. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, you know. I think we just needed. You know, goes. you're going to a beautiful place. You know, and so I just think maybe you could just relax some. You know, take your mind yeah, off a lot of you know, things. It, it, it's from easy the outside, to pack the, the gear. World. You know, it's easy to pack a laptop, and lights, and camera and stuff for a. A trip to back home and see. Yeah, but you're in a place that's but fabulous. But you're yeah, a little yeah, bit but different. You're in a fabulous place. Lay up on that beach, do what you do, relax, then yoga out, run the beach, <laughs> get it snorkel, together. We'll get it together. Do whatever, party. Just What's up, Carlos? Fun. Hope all is Safety. well with you. Hey, on Carlos. The East Coast. Yeah, we appreciate you. Have a good time. I know. Missed y'all too. Thanks. Thanks. So yeah, yeah. Um, no show lights. next week, but we are here now. No show. We yes, are here they're now. playing so right shout now. Shout out to the lights. They have, a, they have a play right now. Shout out to Llama Dude. I had to wear his little t-shirt. I don't know why it seems like it's so crooked on me, but if anybody could see it, know. yeah, it's got the little there llama it on it. I like it. Representing my Llama Dude. Shout out to uh, oh, Electric yeah. Company. The biggest booster yes. club in La Fuerza. And you know, we got the lights them. tonight is their, um, show, you know, love for Oakland night. So anybody that shows oh. up in a Raiders or an A's jersey gets free admission. That is they might what as well the, call it like the, the Vegas take. They should have just made the Vegas takeover night because you know, if, if they has ever come, yeah. the Raiders yeah, are no here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, no what doubt. Can you do, what, right? what can you do? But I like that idea. I like that concept. I mean, they yeah. already got most. I like of that them, idea. Right? They got I the fact that you could do that. They got the our manor league team and. I'm sure mm -hmm. the A's could be on their way. Who knows? But anyways, uh, we hope everybody's well. There's a meeting well. this week with that. Is there? Yes. Yeah, there's a meeting. But like you said, hope everybody's well too. Yeah, there's a meeting yeah, this I week. Know. They're meeting again in Vegas to talk about this baseball thing. We're going to see what they say. Where is that stadium going to? Where are they going to put a baseball stadium? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it hurts the Rio's still there. The Rio's ain't going nowhere. It's still there. Right. It ain't moving. And right. uh, I don't know. Right. Ah, I don't know. It's a lot going on. It's a lot. Well, we may find out. Other than Hopefully that, our guest that we potentially had, we can get him back on yes. when we come back. That would be and great. have him talk to I us. Would, about I that. would appreciate. Yeah. 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 So I know it was Labor Day weekend, which is supposed to be like the start of fall, you know, no more white, whatever. Well, it's a hundred and like eight degrees here still. Mother yeah. Nature has skipped over Nevada. Um I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a big fall person. I don't care for pumpkin anything. So I'm not really worried about pumpkin spice and everything nice and all that. But I don't need it to be 108 degrees still here. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Did they send much. you, did you get a text from MV Energy stating like between the hours of five and eight, please reduce five your power? Five and eight, if you could reduce your power. Those are small yeah, sacrifices. They're huge. I mean, here's they, the, my, small, my, my. Huge. <laughs> My, uh, my power, but I mean, I'm not, I don't have my power down to like 60 something. Like I don't keep it cold, cold. Like I walk around in shorts and tank tops, so I'm not like keeping it freezing, but it's not like, I'm not adding to it. I'm not going to up it to like 80 or 80 something. Right. Like that's not happening. Right. I need to stay alive. My dogs need well, to stay alive. <laughs> exactly. I mean, 74 is a good temp, but I'll cut it off for the conservatorship of, you know, having cons conservation i should say not conservatorship i'm thinking of britney spears right now because her i was like uh, just about over i think about britney who's now. controlling britney's your life mo let us know let us God, know break blink free, twice break if free. i'm okay right i'm thinking about britney because she's she's <laughs> almost to the step of being free but uh being a conservationist is what i should have said got being, you. uh, your little green thumb yeah my little green thumb so i got my ceiling fan going and 
you know, a few little lights here and there, and the lights are off, and the TV's off in the other room, so we're good. But that's all you get. My light, I gotta stay, stay cool. I, my fans stay, stay cool. on, though. You know, yeah, my fans stay on too. But I got yeah. keep it cool. Well, it's too hot. It's too hot right now. It is way too hot. I, yeah. I don't know. Um, so some hot topics, not even hot. Like, I feel like this isn't great, but we you know we lost Michael Williams this week. I um, know. And Michael K. Shock. Oh my God. Shock. 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 Chalky white. Um, you know, and Omar there were some Cunning. rumors about why he passed in an overdose. And there had mm-hmm. been a few overdoses just a f- from a few comedians just a, a couple of days before with the same right. type of stuff. Right. So, hey, if anybody out there is, is, still is using out there. Some- I mean, they're using it as a substitute for the real deal. So you have to know. Right. That a lot so of drugs if you're out there flawed. and you are still using these kind of drugs, please be careful because it's happening a lot and it's happening a lot more than we know because it's happening to also people that maybe don't have the money to afford it or, you know, and they're getting it in a weird ways. Um, a lot of the, you know, homeless population, a lot of people like that, they're running into these kind of problems. So it's just And they're using overall. the synthetic fence and all things to go with it. And it just makes it worse. Mm-hmm. And that's awful. It and makes, fentanyl is a killer. Hey, Heather. Man. Welcome hey, Heather. to the show. Hope you did good Happy last Wednesday. night in your draft. I didn't get to see what everybody yeah. picked. I, I mean, I saw it as we were going through it. but oh, I think their draft. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We had our draft. So we'll talk about fantasy football in a sec. Yeah. Um, or we can talk about. Well, I don't know. We'll talk about it in a minute. Because I know um, college football is back. And yes, it is. Yes, it I is. I watched it this weekend. And it was insane, especially for my Washington Huskies, who here's the deal. We get projected to be in the top 25 the last couple of years, and it's never ends well because we start off in the top 25 and then it's never back there because we just don't seem to perform. And this year we were ranked 20. We went against my brother's alma mater, which is University of Montana. Yes, Mm, an FCS team. And we were favored by 22 and a half points. 22 and a half. Wow. Final score was 13 to 7. Talk about defense. <laughs> talk, Man. talk about not being able to play. Talk about a quarterback right. not performing. I don't know what is going on with our coach, Coach um, Luke. He Did you guys listen, win that game? Here's the deal. Uh, no, we lost. 13 you to lost? 7. When the spread was 22 and a half. That's the lowest scoring it, college football game I've ever heard in my life. Well, it was not because um, I believe it was the Georgia Clemson game was 10 to three. And this was the fewest okay. points that Dabo Sweeney had ever had as a college coach wow. or as a coach for, um, for Clemson, which is well, that's insane right too. close to it and right in there. But back to my sad story. Yes. My team was ridiculously bad. It was an embarrassment. You know, this is the first home. This is the first home game since pre COVID. So fans are back full in attendance. We were all ready to go. People were watching from all over the country and we lose to Montana. Hmm. Seems like it was a sad weekend for all college football in all capacity. <sighs> and I, I mean, unless you're... ESPN too, because they're yeah. out of line. For the HBCU coverage. Like you cannot do I heard. us like you do the other schools. If there is a halftime, we need to see the band. You cannot have a family you Jackson give State game that. and give us our flowers. Say, oh, we're going to highlight a few games this season on ESPN. And it was ESPN too. But we'll take it. Right. But you can't cut from halftime and we miss out on a band. Black Twitter was upset. I was tight. Like that's the highlight of the college games is the band. So you cannot do well, that. Well, they should talk know over that. the the, the halftime. Yeah, I don't know who's on their team over there or who didn't do recon work, but they should know better. Like we're not like the other Pac-10 or uh, Big Ten school, Pac-12 or Big Ten schools where you don't show the band. You know, our band is a little different, cut a little differently. So the band is the highlight of that HBCU college football experience is to see them during halftime. And they cut it completely right. out. Huge disappointment. They got to do better. <sighs> bring back. Bring it back. They need to run That's that back. That's terrible. And it's especially terrible because we know that their halftimes are going to go long. and go. They should give that extra time within the time frames of commercials and whatever else to make that happen and not just be blocked out. Yeah, I inundate just, us with a whole bunch of commercials during the game or something if you got to cut to it. But the band, we look forward to. Do something. I mean, this you is know a lot of these, um, a lot of these sports State, now right? do like the multi-screen where they've got you know the game up, but then you also have a commercial playing in the corner. They could have done right. that. Yeah, they could. I don't know, something. 
I mean, hey, what's up, Les? Here's, Thanks what's for up, tuning Les? in. We appreciate you. They could have, I mean, even if they had a commercial, let the commercial be silent because we still need to hear the band. We don't want to just see the band. We need to hear it and you see them dancing and all that great stuff. Yeah, no, we're out of line for that. Twitter went nuts on that. It was it was a little funny. The memes, everything. Ryan, like, I know they had highlight. posted about your uh, your dancing guy, the Southern, what's his oh, name? Oh, yeah. What they call uh, Drum major. Yeah. Was it our drum major? Yeah. They always, was um, you know, our drum major always does some things. The back bend is ridiculous. Ever since I have attended, they've always been notorious for doing the back bend. I don't know where they find these guys. I don't know what their camp is looking like for training, but they're doing a serious back bend. Like limbo would be, they would be a limbo winner all day. <laughs> their back bend is just insane. And they're holding a baton and wearing a big hat. Right. Yes. Los What's up, Les? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Los Angeles Southwest College. That sounds well, almost you know, like that fake. Uh, close. That almost sounds like close. That, that almost sounds like that. Uh, what's that? Sycamore High. Yeah, Bishop Sycamore. Bishop Sycamore. Yeah. <laughs> which is the, which was as of which as of yesterday was the number one fantasy football name that was being picked with over yes, seven thousand team that. names. I need y'all to be original. Okay, be original. Come on. Well, we know that's not going to happen. But Sycamore is clever. But <laughs> I would have never picked them. I feel like you're in a world And they're of still in the news. They, they succeeded in doing everything that needed to be done. They're yeah. now the most talked about. And people, will, this will be a history-made thing, is the Bishop Sycamore team will always be known. Uh, I'm waiting for a, a Lifetime lot. movie to come but, out on it. Right. Well, and speaking of your... Um, of uh, HBCOs, I, I'm I'm a, I'm curious to see what happens this year for homecomings in general. Well, Morehouse I mean, we know a lot of homecoming already, so that's done. Oh wow! And then we'll yeah. see what happens because I know like our I know a lot of the colleges and and um, professional teams have already have COVID policies now where you have to be at least vaxxed or have at least one shot or have a, mm. a negative test. So yeah. That's going to be tough. Well, Morehouse around. just canceled. Um, they they canceled like maybe a month ago before even schools. Like, we're not doing a homecoming. It's out. I'm like, wow. Yeah. So we're probably going to see a few more schools. No one else that I have heard yet have announced. But yeah, uh, that's going to be interesting. <sighs> yeah, that's, that's tough. And then not to mention know. your team. You were saying that Seattle Seahawks, like pro COVID. Yep. So Lumen Field. Lumen Vaccinate. Field is, um, yeah, uh huh, like like the Raider Stadium, like Allegiant, totally vaccinated. Yep, can't. I think you have anything. to, or you can show an. I think you can show a negative. Um, I think you can show a negative, a negative test. Oh, okay. Well, at least they're giving you that option. We're just totally no tests at all. Yeah. You can yeah, take I a think... shot and go in. And but I, what I've, what cases. I've seen, and what I've been seeing. Now, what I've been seeing is that there's um, there's an issue with uh, there's a new mandate the governor made that you have to wear a mask indoors now. Like there's a comedy club up in up in Washington that I you know I watched, and that you basically have to be wearing a mask. And the mandates are completely strict; it can make you lose your licenses. So people have been canceling things left and right now because the indoor mask mandate. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Hectic. <sighs> That's hectic. A little crazy. A little crazy. That is crazy. A little crazy. Yes. I, I mean, I wear a mask much. eight hours a day on my work day, so I'm so kind of used to it. Um, what I'm not I used listen. to is having been out in the heat with it. That's what I'm not used to. I don't even That's know how you me. do it. I mean, I'm yeah. so used to it. And I'm in 95, so I'm not even doing like the a surgical mask with the mask cover. Like I was double masking right. with that. Yeah, I have you were like doing double masks, in, yeah. Yeah, I have official N95. That and those really are tough to breathe in while you're like functioning and moving around. And you stuff. know what? My lung capacity must be great because I'm climbing up flights you. of stairs doing it. Exactly. Climbing up stairs doing it, working all day in it. And it gives, gives me enough breathing room. It's actually a long coned kind of style. Yeah. So it has some filtration there, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm yeah. able to function with it. At least. What's up, Goose? What's Shout up, Goose? out to What's the Ball Bounds. We appreciate yeah. you tuning in. Oh, Les got you a Dodgers update. Oh, they lose the bottom the top of, the of the ninth. No. And then we had that series against San Francisco. You know, that wasn't good either. Yeah. I don't think we'll be in the a Giants have been the first team season. to hit 90. Yeah. 
I don't think we'll be this NL West championship team this season. We definitely will still be going. Yeah, I think we'll go to the World Series possibly. But those those Giants are no joke. I and shout out to our guy. He ain't my guy, but for you Yankee fans, he's everybody else's guy, the captain. Eric going into the Hall of Fame. I guess. No, he deserves it. Give that man his flowers. He's good. Derek Jeter's yeah, the truth. He, he, he deserves it. Captain's in the Hall of Fame now. That's great. Yeah, my Dodgers, I don't know. He we're, is. We're, we're still going to make it, but mm, ouch. And it's good Good for him. I mean, you know, he he, he's, he deserves it. Um, yeah, he does. Whether I don't like the Yankees or not. You know, he definitely Not a Yankees fan. That. He, in his but speech, like he Jeter. said, like, you know, in his speech, he was like, you know, thanks for all that voted me in, except for the one. Who didn't? Because apparently he had a similar thing to Ken Griffey where, you know, there's that one person out there that must yeah. have been harboring some real bad feelings against you. It was almost <laughs> unanimous. It was almost unanimous for him to go. It was just one. I was like, oh, my God, he's off by one vote. That's crazy. Somebody. He did somebody We need wrong. to leak who that one person is. I that need to know, better. too. Like, who's the hater? Because <laughs> so he's going to win anyway. Just give him the vote. But out of petty spite, you're like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it, yeah. even though I'm everybody else it. is. And we all know he yeah, deserves yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, we all know he yeah. deserves it. You know he's going to get it anyway. Come I'm going to be that petty one that says, nah, I'm going to be the one out. It's too wow. much. It's too much. The petty is So real. before we get going with our fantasy football conversation, yes. you know, one of my all-time favorites that comes into football is watching Gridiron Heights and their sketch oh, comedy, yes, their cartoon sketch it. comedies. So for the, on, for the for the beginning of the season, Gridiron posted this, which is a little, short little two minute video, which you guys gotta watch and listen. We lucky dreams of Great Iron Heights. Great, where are we? Get the hell out of here, you pig tossers! Sorry, good morning! I'm sure New York will be as patient as you guys. What is up, my baby football dudes? Us sophomores are here for your orientation. Nice try, freshman. I like a mature QB. All right, here's the deal, bros. Over there, you got divas, clipboard holders, defensive stars who need to make up for their team's offense, white receivers. Did you know volcanoes can't harm healthy men? Josh Allen's. Linemen, we don't have the budget to animate. Texans do not sit there. <laughs> Sexually active kickers. And King B and the Goats. These dudes are like hot as shit, bro. I saw you in college. You're really good at football. Thank you. So you agree? You think you're really good at football? In practice, we ran red. Tom Brady is like perfection. He's so cool, we're breaking the fourth wall to tell you. One time he scored 31 unanswered points in the Super Bowl. It was awesome. We got to be swung to go. I can't even defund Garoppolo. I don't think my fiance, uh, Shailene Woodley from Divergent, would like this. Why are you hiding in the trash? Oh yeah, this whole thing is about how being popular makes you insecure. I found this bulletin board material. I think the rookies made it. The Browns are serious contenders. This can never get out. Oh, too late. Oh, f expectations. Injury is due for a decrease in production. Oh, they lying, lying. Why is mine a whole chapter? I want to play one season, everyone. Do they know everything or just the crab leg stuff? Enough! Okay, who here has been personally owned by Tom Brady? Me, recently. Yo, I think we should all just get along. He doesn't even go here. Stop hiding in our stadiums, Kanye. Look, everyone, I'm sorry if my greatness infuriates you, but I dare you to come at me. Taunting. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that is hilarious oh my god that is the best gridiron heights to start off listen for when season. i first saw it i oh was my god, like I'm dying. come on i'm dying too oh. funny and it literally puts everything into perspective like i mean everything we, we talked I mean, about everything it's there Everything. And it's everything. like the ode to Tom Brady. Um, mm -hmm. You know, everybody's trying to chase it. And I get yeah. it. But, you yeah. Know, the funny thing is I was seeing Tom Brady getting picked. And, like, what was he? I think he was picked second round in our draft, of course, by Natalie. Of course. Um, I think in our fantasy football draft, the ladies draft, there was two quarterbacks drafted in the first. In the first, oh, who's drafted the first? round. I think it was Patrick Mahomes. And um, I don't think it was Tom. I think it was... Uh, 
Shit, maybe Josh maybe Allen. No, somebody Josh Allen. Can Josh, it. maybe I don't know. But I was like, wait, first round. Maybe two Aaron Rodgers are gone. Yeah, no, maybe, I waited yeah. on that. I was. I waited on that. All I know is Zeke Elliott dropped the second round. I sure as heck was going to try and grab him anyways, but he had got picked up right a couple. Uh, sure a couple did. Times before us. I mean, so I was like, dang. A lot of my people got picked up before I could get them. I was mad. I, I I debated being the third pick. I said, dang, should I go after Tyree Kill or should I go after McCaffrey? And I was like, eh. And then Christian McCaffrey was gone. I was like, oh well. And then Tyreek Hill was gone. I was like, well, I guess I'm just going to have to go for the ladder. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Well, and people don't realize, like, and there's some friends that I'm like, I look at, they're like sharing, you know, at Fantasy Football, you're all screenshotting and sharing with friends. Like, here's what I did. Here's how I did. And some of them, I'm like, dang, you got a stack lineup. How big is your league? Oh, eight players. Oh, yeah. That's this 12 was a eight, monster. Eight players. You, right. 12 was a month. I have a friend that had a 16 team. Yeah. That's and I was like, you don't saying. even, you don't, do you, can you even fill your bench at that point? Like, it just Whoa. seems like, how is that even possible? Those, I messed so up those on this eight, one. Those little 18 teamers were having a wake up call. Even for you, we usually have a 10 team league. And this year we extended it to 12. So welcome to the new women that are in our league this year. Um, but man, and but here's the other thing. I don't know if you ever watch or go back because your email gives you like a little report card on your draft. Y'all who be trying to like make you feel terrible about how what you pick this season. Like man, on I got guys. an A in my guys league, but in our league I had like a C minus. I'm like, I didn't do that bad. Like I got come a C on. on my first one with the guy. Well, the guys when I did horrible because we were out. So I got a D on that. I totally failed that mission, but I'm slated to win this first week. So we'll see. Um, but I'm right. looking through my emails and I didn't see my results on the report card for this one. Probably got to see yeah. again. Shoot. I got three. Leads I think you I were down in C. I think you were down the C minus with me to be honest. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, what happened was, and this is what kind of messed me up because what I was ready. Happened I was was... At, well, first of all, I was at work. So I had time okay. for the first half. Forgot one of gotcha. a client was coming in at seven 30. He came in right on the dot. I was sitting in the office and I was ready to do the next round. And then they were like, oh, your customer's here. I got so thrown off and distracted because I had my little sheet of how many QBs I picked. I was trying to double up. I didn't even pick a second replacement kicker off of that because my customer and bless his heart. You don't need a second kicker. No one ever I picks a wanted second a second kicker. kicker. I wanted a Who backup needs for that kickers? Week. You're going to change your kicker every week almost anyway. I mean. Well, no. I, I needed I it for the bye week for the extra points. I don't have that now. Now when the bye But week the bye week, you just pick one up. Yeah, that's true. I could pick one off the waiver wire. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's like the people that have like three quarterbacks and they've got like no, I don't need three, three defense. I'm like, what are you no. doing? Like, why? I have two defense, two quarterbacks, four running backs, four wide receivers, two tight ends. Then you have the double art, WRT that can right. go through all of that and filter, and you should be done. But I usually get a second kicker. I don't right. Know why but there, you know, but here's the deal too is that you also figure. None of us are going to have not one injured player come this third or fourth week. Like by that time, there's going to be one player that's going to be on IR or it's going to be out for the week. And so you can just swap them in and swap them out. I picked CD Lamb and I know he was out on COVID protocols. They got him as questionable. I got a couple players I drafted that are questionable, but they'll be back. I mean, the season's early. That's why I was like, yeah, they'll be back. And then they'll ball out and do what they need to do. So. Hopefully enough that okay. his 14 teamer had 20 rounds, no defense, no kicker. That's interesting. Wow, that's, that's very interesting. How do you not do that? And then somebody took my dog on Rams. You know, that's the number one defense in the league. I was go- I was like, I need to pick these Rams up as my defensive team right now. I need to do it. And just when I wanted to do it, somebody had got him. I was like, God dang it. So every time I was always late to the party. Defenses were going fast. They were going in like they the were fifth early, and sixth round. I was yeah. like, yeah. I was like, what? Like, I'm just here collecting running backs this? and some wide receivers. I Although my, blo- my my blooper for that rant for this last draft was I'm looking for Robinson, the running back, right? And I just typed Robinson, but I end up choosing wide receiver instead. Oh, so either no. way, it still worked out okay. Robinson's still great, you know, but, but you got I was Fournette hoping for that too, and second I forgot about him. Yeah. yeah, you got Fournette yeah. too, and I forgot about him. I was like, oh, yeah, I got What's him. On my- I have him in the house. Other he got the Rams in two of his leagues, he said. Yeah, that's good. I wanted the Rams What's too. What's up, Steven Senior? Welcome hey, to the show. Steven. Yeah, What's I wanted up, the Rams too. I don't know who that is, yeah. but hey. Yeah. 
Yeah, he went to the Husky. Yeah, that's like yeah. I know nice. he's mad over the Husky loss too, but that's you know probably is here nor there. Jeez. <laughs> so yeah, I mean you know, but then I had my guys league on Monday night, which was great. Um, I feel like I did good in that draft. I just, you know, it's tough because if you don't get one of the first couple quarterbacks, then you're just leaving. I just say, screw it. I'm just picking up someone at the end, like towards the end. Like, uh, what can I do? What can I do? Right. Yeah. But, I'm never um, going to go too late in the call of the quarterbacks because I do need the points for that. I mean, you should depend on yeah. your RBs. And your, but there's um, so many that can be flexed and depending on their matchups, yeah. like you're able to flex those around and move them around to where you can find a quarterback maybe isn't great, but has a really great matchup that's going to score you some points. You know, that's true. That's my philosophy. I mean, that's I think true. I've got like that's how you win. I've got um, I think I got Stafford and Tannehill, and oh, I, I do have. This is what killed me in my guys' league. I drafted Dak Prescott and Zeke Elliott. Like me, oh the God. biggest cowboy hater. And what comes to me is here's my options, and it's like, ugh, well, I got to put all my hate aside because I need to go for what I think will still do well. So. And I know we'll having see. my store we'll manager on our league, she's gonna pick up every single last raider possible. <laughs> so she definitely picked up. I don't know who got Josh Jacobs. Somebody got. Him. I My think she together. actually got the highest score on the report. She card. did. And she was the last pick. And her picks were crazy because she would pick. She was last to pick. And then she had to pick right after that. And then the way it snaked, she got to pick in the third. Uh, I mean, mine were terrible. I'd have 60. I'd have to wait 16 picks before I pick again. 17 picks before yeah. I pick again. 12 picks before I pick. I was like, oh, this is a nightmare. This is terrible. This is the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. Don't put me on third pick no more. I don't want to do that no more. Or Listen, I, I got I'm first pick in my guys. Like when I tell you the pick I hate most is pick number one. I don't yeah, want it. I, I don't want the pressure guys. of making the first pick, and I me don't too. want to have to wait twenty three more slots I until I can pick I again. Ugh. Ugh. That's too much. And then my Dodgers it was lost. Way too much. Yeah. So by now, everybody should be done with fantasy football. All the drafts are complete because tomorrow is the season opener. NFL is officially back. we got the Cowboys yes, visiting Tampa in Tampa. Game time is 520 here on the on the on the on the West Coast. And here's I need the to go place a ticket. Per, I think per like vivid seats. The average cost for a ticket to that game was five hundred and like sixty eight dollars. Hmm. It was a high price. Ticket. Like it's the uh, highest ticket that's probably been paid for a Tampa Bay opener. Period. And, it probably is. And it's lower than what it was. It was expected to be in the thousands. Originally, it was in the thousands, like the Raider tickets. When it was Tampa wow. Bay and Cowboys, it was supposed to be like a thousand dollars for that that's ticket. Wild. It is wild. Wow. AZ can gamble now, huh? Stris? You know, what's funny oh, is that, good. shout out to Weeks. I think Weeks was on earlier. Um, they actually are opening up a sports book in Washington, which is the first ever, which is crazy. So oh, yeah, go to sports lose betting up there. is coming along. Oh, listen. I They're mean, everybody already minds. does it already on these sites and things that people get, right. from, you know, DraftKings Draft or Kings whatever and else stuff, you can yeah. do in your mm -hmm. state. But, man. <sighs> Listen, Stephen, that's like this Ravens Raiders game coming Monday Night Football here. The prices people are paying for those tickets, you could might as well just fight a fight a playoff game. Well, they went they went down, you know, in the four hundred sections, four and three hundred sections are like two hundred now, two eighty nine. I last looked on stuff up, oh, so really? ticket prices are going that's down. My yeah, thing. you can, you can yeah. go to a Raiders game now, and I think on the day of the Monday Night game, it might even get cheaper. You know, I you feel like pop up in the I scene. feel like the hype was so high, and then now it's kind of like. Because, you know, I paid more than they were going for my preseason tickets when it came to the time of the game. I feel like if people can are able to wait it out, like maybe you live here or you're going to be here anyways, wait it out and play it to go in there, you know, buy your tickets day up or day right. before. Because I feel like the prices go down completely. And another good option, I went with Natalie to the UNLV football game, which is also at Allegiant Stadium. So if you don't even care who's playing and you just want into the stadium, go to UNLV Rebels game because the tickets are cheap. Seats are good. It's all usually that lower bowl. And we had clubhouse seats. So you got to have access to, you know, the little bars and the extra food that are in the little circle. You were like, oh, there, seats. So. I'm like, you're at a UNLV game. Of course, the tickets are like $15, $20. And hey, if you just want the experience, that's what people can buy. You can come For to sure. Vegas, go For get inside sure. the Allegiance. It's cheaper than going on the Allegiant Stadium tour. Yeah. You know? The tour takes Jeez. you down to the locker room and all that great fly stuff over there, though. Hey, SLAC is in the building. What's up to Big Lex and Strizzy both 
in the house. We appreciate y'all guys. We appreciate y'all. I know you guys are boiling hot, just like we are. Up and here. that's too hot. Exactly, <laughs> Stephen. Like, yeah, it needs to be. They need to be giving a locals like you go to Smith's grocery store and buy some groceries and get a ticket to the Rebels game and sit in the lower deck like they used to back in the day, you know, or something like that. That would be kind of cool, but but it still that's beats going to Sam Boyd. Hands. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. My car beats going to Sam Boyd. Not even in my car. <laughs> Jeez. The radio beats going to Sam Boyd. Anything beats going to Sam Boyd. Eight track beats going to Sam Boyd. I mean, what are we talking about here? Oh my gosh. So yeah, yeah. I'm excited for the season. Season's kicking up. Me too. I mean, Can't wait for my Bears Raiders gonna be game. Great. Can't wait for my Eagles Raiders game. And shout Can't out to, to I may, you know, if I ever come to a Raiders game, I'm gonna have to, you know, find me an old KJ Wright jersey because you know KJ Wright yes, is holding out. We got him. I was gonna agency. ask you what your take was on that, your former Seahawks. You know, I'm happy he got it. I mean, I'm I'm excited that if I do get to a Raiders game where we're not playing us, that you know, I'd love to see him play and root for him and you know, be able to support him. I, I love KJ, right? My thing is I want to know who his agent was because he was holding out to get this long term, he wanted to get paid. We wanted big right. Money. He wanted to get paid, and then you end up with a one-year contract. <laughs> well, I mean, was he shoppable? I mean, a big possibly. Contract? Or guess what? Or, or a big stay contract, with Seattle. Right? Stay with Seattle. Dwayne Dwayne Brown got his contract re, re, restructured so that he was able to be happy with the payment and the amount, but just over a different kind of value. They weren't going to do that for KJ. They weren't going to do that. But they him. could. That's have. the issue. He did, they just, they, they weren't have. giving him the money. But why didn't she just stay in Seattle for a year contract? Why leave again? Like, why, why leave? I think he thought he could get shopped and get something a little bit better. And, you know, and who knows what to say? He probably bitter because Russell ain't trying to give up his bread to spread it out to the rest of the family and the kids. So it's they can clear. Eat. Russell's but, not you know, it's not his it fault. Up, period. Yeah, you it's know. not his fault to do that. He shouldn't have to. I mean, it's what he got paid, paid and he deserved fault. it. So, yeah, you know, what can he do? and that's y'all fault for giving him all that money <sighs> and then not allocating it to the rest of the players like y'all are supposed to do, you know, but you didn't do that. So he's no Tom Brady. He hasn't been in the league for 20 years to do all that. You know, he took advantage of the first, first big before he can paycheck. even try and do that. Yeah. Well, we do you think you're going to get it. I mean, you got to win another what? one. I mean. Win the Super Bowl this season? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be tough. I gotta to see if our running backs can stay healthy. I need to see what our backfield is looking like. I know we picked up um an old Jets cornerback, Austin guy, but that doesn't change my mind as much. And our offensive line is still an issue. Like I think I saw like on one of those memories on Facebook I had posted back in 2012. Like, why am I always stressed over my offensive line? And it's still to this day, I'm always stressed over my offensive line. What can you do? Yeah. I don't know what you're going <sighs> to do, but you better figure it out because this could be Russell Wilson. What's he going to do if this season don't go in his favor? Listen, from and what he I hear. For, um, this week, right? We play in Indianapolis. Yeah. Indiana. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, from what I hear, though, Russ is having a pretty good offseason and he had a great training camp. I think okay. he's in great shape. I think he's out there to, to blow him out the wall. You know, we'll see. But again, sure I'm excited will. for the running backs. Chris Chris Carson's been in that gym, gym, putting on, you know. And I got Chris Carson weight. on one of my fantasies, so he better do work. Same. I'm not even playing with him. He yeah. better do work. Yeah. Donnell said, uh, oh, where'd it go? Yeah, he has. I mean, you can't blame him, but you can't blame him for leaving if he wants to leave either, Goose. Shoot. And you, you can't know, blame maybe him if he has that money. Knows. If he's got to leave, that's fine. I mean, just get us the first round draft pick. That's all I need. Yeah, I'm with my team. I'm not with the player. This is not. I'm jumping ship with my with my guy. That's it's not, not like the LeBron. We'll like I'm just chasing LeBron wherever he goes, or I'll chase Russell, or I'll chase Yo, Tom Brady Lex, wherever he goes. The division is tough. It's very tough. Ain't nobody on any other division want to come to an NFC West game at all. I mean, this is the probably one of the first times that all four teams are really good. I mean, you really can't They're deny really, like, really the Rams. Good. The Cardinals the have stacked and I couldn't up. even get him. Huh? I, like I said, Rams have the number one defense in the league right now. Like, stop playing with them. Yeah. They're gonna know. do some work. They're gonna show y'all. We'll see. What Arizona's happens. gonna show y'all too. Well, and the Niners, they saw the signed Niners Josh Norman. Show. I didn't even know yes. Josh Norman was still in the league or still playing. 
Oh, man. Kinte, I hope you're right. If I would love him to go off, although he's not on my fantasy roster, unfortunately, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, the did Ravens signed Le'Veon fantasy? Bell. Oh, uh, they did? I never, did draft first. I never oh, okay. stretched for it. I mean, it's good. I think one year I actually had him and I got like, av- I did like average, average. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, it, Russell gets sacked a lot. Like, yeah, he throws some yeah, 69 yard bombs and gets Talaka to catch it, but he also gets sacked a lot due to the offensive line. So I also don't want to eat those points. Right. Because in fantasy football, I've had a lot of games that have been like one or two points, and you wake up the next morning and it's been point adjusted because of something, and now I'm lost, and now I lost. Hmm. Those games you don't want to have to be only up by a point or two. <laughs> Niners own the Rams. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. How long is Jimmy G going to be healthy this year? That should be like the over under. At least they got Justin Fields, right? Or not Justin Fields. Who was the backup guy? It's not Justin Herbert. He's over at LA Chargers. No. Got to watch out for him, too. <laughs> yeah. He's only ranked, I think, one spot lower than Russell yeah. on um, on the yeah. quarterback list this year. I know. Hey. I, listen. Oh, yeah. Trey Lance. Trey Lance. Trey thank Lance. you to oh, the yeah. 49er fan in Trey the building. Area. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be interesting all these football heads in the chat i know they're ready ready i gotta play a ticket i know i really do i should do a five better to get you an app girl i got like three apps i don't gotta leave the house well i have william hill but when i go back to work on friday i think I, i'm not gonna bet on this thursday night game i'm gonna do the five teamer for the sunday games and see what i can get because baseball yeah, has been hitting let me tell you something a five teamer on baseball pays out eight hundred dollars when i um one of my what was he been like 20 bucks? Yep. 20, okay. five teamer, 800. Okay. And baseball been hitting. Yeah. I don't know how this football is going to be. We'll see. We're going to see. Uh, so regarding the Seahawks game, I guess Carson Wentz is going to be suiting up. So. Oh, really? Like yeah. Okay. Are they pushing it though? Like, do you really want to just test that right off the bat? And we, I don't know. I think they'll win. I honestly, I hate to see you. Might you might go a one on your first one. I honestly think the Colts might win this game. I picked them. I'm picking them. I'm not being a hater. Okay, because I got I got, I got the I'm picks just, lined up. I got the picks yeah, yeah. Lined up for so, later yeah. Too. So, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking the Colts might might stun it. It's, there's got to you know. There's always one stunning game on a Sunday game. There's always yeah. a stunner. There's always a stun game, and I just feel like I don't that think one it's going to be our game. game. You don't think I don't game? think it's I don't think it's heavily I don't think I don't think that we're favored to win by a lot. Like I don't think it's like one of those big you spreads. Know, I That's why spreads. I say it could I be a stunner think. game. It could be. But a stunner is like the underdog wins. Like no one expect like like the Montana and the Washington game. That yeah. was a stunner. Like no one expected that. So are, are people really it's interesting. To to it's hard to even... open a game. Um, Looking at the line that you guys have. I don't know. Mm. Oh, dang it. I just got logged back out my thing. Um, let me look. There might be. I mean, I, I, I'm not, you know, Seahawk fans always hit different. So I don't know. We're favored by three points, which that's okay. usually exactly All right. Thing. Okay. That's a field goal away. You of know, whatever. Okay. That's nothing. Yeah. I, I, but yeah. I think that's for majority of the games this Sunday because it's the first week. Like no one's really right. seen anyone. Like for Seattle, none of our starters played the entire preseason. preseason not a yeah, single we don't starter. Like. That's why I'm so we don't curious. know. Most of these teams don't know. Yeah, um, it will be a frenzy. I know Kinte. Like, yeah, um, it'll be hard. To, it'll be interesting to see how our wide receivers play because we've got we're stacked. You know, DK now is like one of the top one wide receiver one for fantasy football. Um, Tyler Lockett. Both those guys are going high off the draft too. So. Oh, yeah, you guys do have hey. DK Metcalf, though. He is a savage for a wide receiver. He's tough. He is tough. And don't forget, I we don't got know. Jamal Adams healthy, healthy. Oh, that's right. So we're starting the Jamal. season off yes. with healthy Jamal Adams, hmm. which is now my new forgot about him. football name, Presidential Mel. Thank you. Okay. After Presidential Mel. I forgot about him. Boy, mm-hmm. that does change mm-hmm. a little bit of perspective. Mm-hmm. And you got the Raiders against the Ravens. Oh, okay. We'll see on I that mean, one too. when I'm looking at most, when I'm looking at most of the points. It's I like three, Raiders four, too. three, four ones. There's some ones in there. One point mm-hmm. spreads. Like the Niners favored by seven and a half. Chiefs favored by six. Yeah. 
We know I think the Cowboys, are, the Bucks were favored by eight and a half. So those are like the biggest spreads for the first week of football, which is good. Crazy because sometimes you'll see a 10 point spread or wait, they said the Cowboys spread, are favored by eight and a half. No, the Bucks are favored. Oh, by I was about to say, what? I think that mm-hmm. one, I think I might take the, the, the points on that for Dallas. I don't know. I think it could be close. All right. I'm not doing that. I don't think I would do that. (laughs) I don't know if I would do the over under on that at all. Like the Raiders are four, got a four. Yeah. Wait, no, that's late. I'm sorry. I went too far. I went too far. Anywho. I don't know. I don't know. Um, WNBA. I know our aces were up at the half and it looks like we are hundred to 77. So we're about to win the game, which is great. Are our starters playing? Yeah. Well, the ones that aren't injured. So Cambage is still out. Hamby, I believe, was still out. I'm not positive. And McCultry is still out. However, like we discussed the other day when we watched the game, what was that on Sunday? They lost to the sky. Oh, that was. We um, are all out playing without Cambage, Hamby, McCultry. Asia's in there putting in work. When will, can we give any of our ladies a break? We've already clinched the playoffs. We don't. We, we can take L's. That's okay out. if we take the L's. We clinch the playoffs. I don't mind the L's, but don't. Play and we took an L to with L's. her playing. Yeah, so why not just yeah. take the L? Because they're gassed and that's stupid. I don't uh, even understand. Oh my god! So I'm just getting some fantasy updates on my Nordstrom football team. People are making adjustments already gonna, as we're speaking. No, we're gonna we're gonna get to the playoffs and be wiped out, and that's not. I need. Listen, if even with the travel and shout out to Jose, I know we uh, had some discussion with Coach Lambier in regards to some of the things. That the yeah, the traveling through issues still and with traveling yep. that on top of not getting a break from the Olympics for our Olympic gold medalists and continuing to play at this fast paced game to win games or even lose like for, against the Chicago sky. And they've already made the playoffs. Why are we still doing this? Give them a break. Give them a rest. Sue Bird, Brianna Stewart, they both got two, they got two games off and they had a rest. Although Brianna Stewart hurt her ankle, I think, last night. So she was out. She left during the middle of the game. There's no saying as to they haven't uh, released any information as to how she's doing and if it's going to be serious or not. So I don't know. Um, the WNBA, you can also go and vote for your GOAT. So they picked the top 25 players of all time for the WNBA. Um, uh, Angel McCautry was one of them for the Aces. However, Asia was not on there. Um, you know, well, they had a birds, thing they did, right? They had a poll where they were saying, like, who would who would you give the last shot to in the WNBA? Diana Taurasi ranked very high on that. Anybody from the Aces was Chelsea Gray. Those came up in the commentary, but Diana Taurasi pretty much ran that as far as who would you give the last point, last the ball to to give to score the last bucket, and she ran you know, supreme I, with that. They had some great women on that list, you know, like yeah. Cindy Cooper, Cheryl Swoops, Maya Moore was on it to make a catchings, Pondexter, Tina Thompson. It was just surprising because all, I think all but one MVP was on the list of top 25, except mm. for Asia Wilson. That's, that's Maybe because she was kinda... the newest member. She was the le- recent, most recent member, but um, a little a little sad for that one. I don't know. So, anyways, congratulations, the Aces, because they're about to win. Shout out to our guy B Sal, who's doing it live Birthdays from the today, arena too. tonight, and his and birthday, birthday today too. Yeah. Yes, happy birthday, B Sal. I forgot well, I know about he's that. busy up there. That. He was um doing live remotes when I saw the news before we got on. He was out there in his maroon suit, best kicking it live in the game, ready for so. fall with the maroon. I see you. Yeah, getting that maroon on. I know and it's that hot fall though. Colors Shoot. Are going on. Cimarron Memorial, stand up. That maroon, he had the gray with it too. <laughs> no diss, be so. I'm just hey, John Weeks, what's up to Weeksy? He's excited because they're Weeks? opening up the gambling books, that gambling uh, sports books in in Seattle. So that's he's good. ready for Washington. Weeks uh, was helping me, was uh, giving me some little assistance on my fantasy. I, I, there sometimes I think it's around like that fifth and sixth round. That I'm just like, oh, do I really want to keep doing running back wide receiver? Yeah, whole fantasy issue, you know. And I didn't prep. I didn't watch hardly any preseason. I didn't do any research like I usually do. So I'm just going for it. What's up, Jose? Shout out to Jose. What's up, Volante? Yes. So um, want to get into some sneaker drops? Sure. What uh, do you have uh, on the uh. sneaker drop? 
Well, you know, got a couple. Although the, you know the the gray waffles came out today, and I missed that. <clears throat> I like Double those gray fish? waffles. Yeah. Uh huh. I know we've had this one on before. Um, Did we? Yeah. Well, it's the Jordan one, the high OG, the prototype. This one comes out on 924, September 24th. I like this one. I'm not, I'm not going for it, but it's cool. It's not bad. So we've got that one. Um, Let's see what else. Ah, yes. Why can't I get this off? Nice Travis Scott. There we go. Air Max. Cactus Jack. Off White Jordan. Yeah. I don't see the Off White Jordan. Which one is that? I, one? I keep think I just keep thinking Scooby Doo. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I just feel like I'm not a Browns person. I can't so believe I he's if you're like a Browns a, fan I, too. If you're a Browns fan, that would be a good outfit. Huh? I said if you're a Browns, it would be fan, a good look good if you were a Browns fan. Yeah, it would. Yeah, you would. It would be a great um, outfit. Yeah, cool gray. So these are coming back around. Now you know I got to go after these. I don't care yeah. whose line I got to stand in or who I got to pay. I'm not a big eleven cool Evans person, but I think the Jubilee and these would probably be the only ones that I got. I need the, the cool, cool grays in my nice. life. I need the cool grays in yeah. my life. I can't even front. They're nice. <laughs> and let's see, um, the Jordan <laughs> 13 retros, the Obsidians. These come out next I week hate on the 13s. 18th. Oh my God! All that makes me look at is like if you put your hand on a cheese grater. And you pop it back up and you've got all those things on your hands. Or you put your hand on a pegboard and you lift your hand up and you got all those things. Nah, not interested. Yeah. It's not sexy for me. No. Sorry. It doesn't not do really. it for me. And an, not sexy and enough. an update for the off white Jordan two oh, lows. Yes. They got pushed back to November the release did. date did. Of course, of course they, they did. did. Yeah. So I don't they're also I'm just, I hate kind of two so much, but I would Oh, I, I love know. these. I just I'm not a big two person. These are nice. I just twos, I can't do those, I like those twos, man. I like the two lows. I can do those. Especially with that signature on there. Mm-hmm. Not to mention, um, we also We gonna have, catch you balling uh, in some eleven Steven Senior. <laughs> <laughs> I have the eleven gamma Steven Steven, and I've never taken them out the box. No. I can't stand thirteens either. Yeah. They're ugly. They're not sexy. I got um, one original 13 from like literally 98, 99 when they came out. Not sexy enough. Sorry. I, I, I would never Carolina want to admit color, to that. So, you know. I would never want to yeah. admit to that. I'm sorry. I could not admit yeah. to that. You keep that in your box on the shelf. Don't even pull those things out right. in front of me. That's not that ugly. I, I wore them because I used to have a bunch shoes. of, I used to have a ton of North Carolina gear when I was like. They get the Carolina so blue fours or the, the, the Jordan legend blues. Something. This was but this this was my very first pair of Jordans. I just kept them. Oh, I still got them. I mean, I don't... Pair. Yeah, my mm. very first pair. Of How old were you when you like got a, these? Like a freshman in college. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So not do? to mention also Adidas is coming out with Aesop Rocky, who I love to death, of course, because he loves Rihanna and I like Rihanna. So uh-huh. he um is coming out with the Prada. They're calling them the Prati Daws, and I had a picture, and I forgot to send them to you. But oh, those white dope. ones with the little Prada pouch, like a little pouch the tongue. Yes, super cute. They haven't released what date those are coming out, but those are pretty fly too. Adidas always be coming with some heat that's a little different. You know, I, I'm a Nike person as well, but I'm also not. I, I also rock with the Adidas too. I mean, I rock with anything that's a little bit fly. Anything that's a little different yeah, that I can get my I'm not a big, hands on. Yeah. Um, Arlington, we are about to do NFL predictions. I just wanted to do a quick girl power beforehand. Um, this young lady. Oh, yes. Yeah, Layla Fernandez, 19 years old from Canada, currently at the U.S. Open. She has, she will be in the semifinals tomorrow. She also, so she defeated Naomi Osaka on Friday. She then defeated number five, I think, Slitvani, I don't even know how to pronounce her name, um, yesterday. She's the youngest player to defeat two WTA top five players at the same major since, since Serena Williams did it when she was 17 in the 1999 U.S. Open. This girl, Beast. man, listen. Tennis is a young sport. I, I can see why. And and shout out to Naomi because I know 
during her press conference, she was really not still in it mentally. She wasn't taking her break and see, you know, she had no timetable. So we reach mm-hmm. out to her and we, we hope that she gets all the time she needs and gets all the support she needs. And hopefully she gets back in it. Cause she still is so talented and so young. She has so much to offer the game. Hopefully she'll stick in it. Um, but Hey, mental health is tough. Even Tom Brady was commenting and giving these girls. Oh yeah. I saw that. Do it going mm-hmm. through all this stuff. So mm-hmm. yeah. the fact that he tweeted out about them was very impressive, especially mm-hmm. to get the haters off their back. Cause one was getting a whole bunch of mean tweets after their And that's match. terrible. Like hate tweets. I shouldn't even know. say mean. It was very hateful. Death threats, those kind of yeah. crazy things. That's degenerate gamblers, whatever the case may be. I don't know. They lost their money. I don't know. But you can't take it out on these players. They're playing the sport that they love, and they're doing it for that. They're not for doing it for your benefit of for gaining money. Right. That's just an extra little if bonus. Not, just if turn, hey, if you don't like it, turn it off. It's, that's how the TV works. Don't bet on you it. Know? How about that? Be better don't at follow. it. You know, get <laughs> y'all amped up like that. Jeez. I mean, it's. It's not that serious, but all right. So let's get to some picks before we finish off the podcast. We are officially in week one with a clean slate. Zero zero. I believe Mo won last season of our pick. I did. So congratulations to you. Um, but let's get it going. So we've got Dallas at Tampa Bay Thursday night. We know the Bucks are going to win that game. I know. I know. I know. I'm going with them too. So Jacksonville at Houston. And who's they announced as their new quarterback that's replacing uh, Deshaun Watson? Oh, yeah, Tyro Taylor. Mm-hmm. Deshaun's still on the team, but he's not going to be playing. Due to the al- when are the allegations going to finish? Is he going to be Why sitting, are they up, still- sitting on the bench? I don't, I don't I mean, even use his nose as I don't know. Well, he's still on the yeah. roster, so technically yeah, I think he's if you're on, on the roster. roster, you do. Do you? I don't know. That's sad. I don't know. Sad. Pick? I got Texans. Okay. Chargers at Washington. I'm going with the Washington mm. team on that one. This would be interesting to see here versus Herbert, Let's see a, what he a, a Washington D. Yeah. I'm going to go with Washington uh, on that one, though. I think I'm rooting for the home team on this. Since they haven't come up with a name yet for him yet, I'm just going to go with the Washington. I'm, Plus, I'm I don't like the Chargers. The Why would Chargers. I want the Chargers in my division to win their first game of the season? I, we well, you know how much not. I was jocking. You know how much I was jocking on uh, the Chargers. I mean, the, Hubert is amazing. I'm not a fan of the Chargers, but I just like the kids. So I'm going to go with the Chargers just because. If there's are point spreads and stuff included, it'd probably be a little bit different. But if it's just pick them, I mean, winner, it's a pick them. You it. pick the Chargers. I go with Washington. We'll yeah. see what it do. Yeah. Donnell's going. I'm excited for that. So, okay, Seahawks at Indiana. You know, I'm going to go with my Seahawks. Mm. I'm going to take the Colts on this. You said minus three? Go for the Colts. Well, we're not doing points. We're just picking them. I know, but you said it was a minus three, so that could be what and what, meaning that any team could win. But it's the first week of the season, so they're they're kind of padding these real, you know, they're padding them. Yeah, I don't know why pe- I've had two phone calls so far, and it's like you don't realize at seven o'clock on Wednesday I have a podcast. It's uh, so it's cool. I'm gonna go with the Colts. We'll just go opposite of each other. Okay. Colts. Um, Jets at Carolina. I'm taking the Panthers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got to go with that too. Jets to nothing. What do you think the Jets record will be this season? The Jets? <sighs> Maybe 17 two games. or three. Two three. 15. You think two or three? Three and 14? Jeez. I'm going to say. I don't know. I don't know. We should ask Jose that. Jose, what's your Jets going to be like? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Look but, at me. Steven says they're gonna win more than 13. Dallas. <laughs> yeah, they will. Four and, thir- four and thirteen. I give them four and thirteen. I'll give them at least four games this season. I'm gonna say four and thirteen. Listen, I'm I got nice. CMC as my number one pick. I need the Panthers to just show out for this first game. I know. Period. Uh, the Vikings at the Bengals. Hey, I'm gonna roll with the Bengals. I think. Well, Minnesota. I don't. Oh, I'm going, I'm gonna go with Bengals. I'm just gonna do the Joe okay. Mixon is nice. I'm gonna go with the Bengals. You got Joe Burrow. Mixon. We'll see how Burrow's uh, sophomore season yeah. is. 
It might be better. <laughs> Doubt it though. Doubt it. Cardinals and Titans. Win that. I'm gonna Ugh. go with the Cardinals. Uh, that's rough too. I think I'm gonna have to agree with you on that and go with the Cardinals too. Okay. Uh, Niners at the Lions. Oh, Niners. As much as I want to choose the Niners. Lions. Niners. <laughs> yeah, I would love to take the Lions, but that's not realistic. That's the Niners on that all day. This Don is, is choosing every, <laughs> every game opposite. That's, that's cool. okay because we have our let the ball bounce watching a lot more again. Let's start it. So uh, let's oh, see. Yeah. Steelers and Bills. That's the game. That's the one I really want to watch. I probably will skip the bet Steelers on that. and Buffalo. But that's yeah. the game. That's the game. I'm that's going with the Bills, though. I'm, I'm going to go with the Bills. Let's just see it. Let's just go. Josh Allen, let's go. I'm going to go with them, too. Let's go. Let's just uh, see what he do. I'm, I am interested to see what how the wide receiver core is for. Uh, there's a lot of good talent on the Steelers team. And mm -hmm. I don't you know. We've had the concern of Juju being getting everything or there being, oh, no Juju at all. Just like no Mo right now because her hour is up. So we'll see if she gets back in because we are not done picking them yet. Jeez Louise. Yeah, Bills. Mo, come on back. Next one, Philly at Atlanta. Anybody get Matt Ryan out there on their fantasy? I just, I'm curious because <laughs> I can't stand that. Really, guy. I got to time out during the hey. thing and then tap back in. Yeah, you did. Jeez. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we got Eagles at, at Falcons. Yeah, I'm going with the Falcons on that. I, I hate to say it. I just don't hurt. like the Eagles. Yeah, I just don't, I don't see it. I just yeah. don't see it. I'm going Falcons. Um, Brown yeah. at Chiefs. Although I oh, love Chiefs my Browns. Day. I know you do. Unfortunately. Chiefs you know, I, I can't wait to see how the Browns do this year, too. But yeah, that could contenders. be a shocker. That could be the shocker contenders. surprise. They're definitely AFC contenders. OBJ is back. I mean, they're definitely you know. contenders. I mean, like, I'm not going to count them out. But, you know, we'll see what they yeah. do. But they're not going to do nothing against those Chiefs, though. That's not the no, but it could be the, That could be your shocker for the week. You never know. <laughs> Packers at Saints. Yeah, this is a good one too. This is another good one too. But um, but we don't know. got Drew Brees no more. No, but we got uh, who? No, Michael with? Thomas. They're going with Teddy Bridgewater. They still got Alvin Kamara, right? Of course. What's what's Aaron Rodgers' headspace gonna be like? See, I don't, yeah, I don't like this kind of thing. I'm gonna I, Saints are my second We're not team. His I'm therapist. Go with the I know, but I'm gonna go with these Saints. I'm who that nation okay. is my second team. I'm not even. Gonna I mean, I got Alvin second. Kamara on one of my teams. So I'm hoping he pulls right. off a, a, a great victory. But that's all I got. All so all. we'll when see. Don't got no Super real Day. floor general. I, I don't know if I can count Jameis Winston to be really. Jameis was looking pretty decent their preseason, but again, let's see. Pre I look at all season, their, You're not playing I anybody. I know, but I'm also I, looking at a Rod. A Rod's arm is a Broncos monster. the Giants. Oof. That's this a tough a, one. I hate to pick either one of them. I'm going with the Giants because I don't want anybody in the AFC to win nothing, really, except my Raiders. So AFC West. I'm going to so. go with the Giants just because I hope that Saquon can Barkley, get out there and, Barkley, and get back mm -hmm. and get back. Even though I don't have him on fantasy, I do want to see him do well. Um, we yeah, got I don't think we're going to expect the, much from him. Yeah. I don't think um, the Dolphins at Patriots. You know what? I'm going to roll with Miami on just because. I, like, okay. I got Tua on my fantasy. I would like to see him do some things, and I'm not even going for that. But I'm also kind of curious to see what New England's going to do because they have a coach in Belichick. Let's just see what he does. Yeah, I don't know. And what he what magic he can work with his Yeah, I just want to see if some magic works. Work. Yeah. yeah, I just want to see if some magic works. All right, Bears at uh, Ram. That's a no-brainer. We're doing the Rams. Andy Dalton, really? Are you really going to? And Andy Dalton's not even starting, I don't think, this game, is he? I believe he is. Is he? Remember, it was his team. Oh yeah. I don't think. But preseason, they had that other quarterback playing, who was actually pretty solid. Because no starters played during preseason. I know, I know, but I just thought maybe they'd switch it up on us. We don't know. <laughs> All right, Ravens at the Raiders. I'm gonna go with my home team. It's Vegas. Let's go, Vegas. Luck, Lady Luck is on my side. I'm gonna roll with these Raiders. Season opener, we got to do it. Chucky's on the field. He's going to be, you know, being Chucky. We got, we, yeah. Not to mention, you know, we're pretty core solid. I think Carr is going to, going to stand out and actually do some things. And I also think um, it's going to be a good night. 
I hate to say it. I think it's going to be a good night, not so much for Waller, but for Hunter Renfro. I, you know, I was trying to get hands. Waller. Waller was going so high in the fantasy draft. Yeah, he is. Too. I he is going in a, high in the fantasy draft, but I'm more, I'm more concerned with him than anything this season. I don't know why, but something just gives me an inkling feeling that this is not going to be. I don't know how well he's going to do. Got a feeling going on. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go with the Raiders. I, with the I, I though, do but... hope the Raiders perform well. Um, yeah. But I got a couple fantasy aspects I'm working on. I, I know. Really? You got to separate the paper, two, but it's the that. first season. Hey, listen, I didn't go for your team. You're not going for my team. It's no, I'm not coming with a stake to get you. I don't care. I, I just got to do what I, you know, what I'm feeling. And you got to do all about, all about the picks. All it is all about the picks. You just got to go with what you're feeling. So. Steven, we don't need any kind of rudeness in the chat, please. There is no word. What did he say? I don't know what you're talking about. It's the Seattle Seahawks and they're playing the Colts. Thank you. Hmm. 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 I got the Colts. Anywho, I got the Colts. I just, you know, your team has got some issues. Yeah, you do. Personnel stuff. It's all good. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. First game yes, of the season. And you got your we haven't seen tonight. most of these guys play at all. Right. So I'm all with Super it. excited. I'm, all with I'm just it. trying to figure out looking at those We're games back. and that ticket it's with the back. five teamers going to be. I need to see yeah. what that five teamer going to be. All right, you like. guys. So just in case you didn't catch the beginning of the show, we will be off next week. So make yes. sure you tune in in two weeks. We'll be back. We're taking a little a little siesta, um, and I'm going to go hit uh, Queen of the South. She's going to siesta. You know? She's going to siesta. Everybody <laughs> needs a siesta. Siesta, siesta. Everybody needs I shouldn't one. say that like that. Everybody needs one. Everybody <laughs> needs a siesta. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a great week. Have a great next week. Enjoy the first week of football. I hope everybody does well in their fantasies. Uh, fantasy footballs, and I hopefully their teams win, except for the Niners and Cowboys. Cowboys. But that's all for me. <laughs> all right, well, see you later. Bye, guys. You guys have a good one.